Hi, my name is Keith Kompaltowicz and welcome to another edition of On the Level with the Corps of Engineers. One of the Detroit District's missions is the forecasting and monitoring of water levels of the Great Lakes. Today we will show you one of the District's most popular products, the Monthly Bulletin. The Monthly Bulletin has been published by the Detroit District since the 1950s and is coordinated with our Canadian counterparts. In looking at the bulletin, you will see a six-month forecast of Great Lakes water levels and other water level statistics. All water levels are shown as still water, monthly mean surface elevations, or water elevations undisturbed by wind or wave action. The water levels in the monthly bulletin are shown to the chart datum for each lake. There is a distinct chart datum for each lake which is shown on each graph. These datum planes have fixed elevations relative to the International Great Lakes datum of 1985. The IGLD 1985 has its zero base at Rimouski, Quebec, near the mouth of the St. Lawrence River. Each lake's water level is portrayed in a hydrograph or a plot of water surface elevation over time. Up to 24 months of recorded water level data are shown as a solid red line. Zooming in to a bulletin graphic for Lake Erie, you will see the blue dashed line representing the long-term average water level and hatch marks in year of occurrence for both record high and record low levels. All statistical info is based on a period of record going back to 1918. The grid upon which the water levels are plotted has a scale in feet to the left and meters to the right. The major divisions are every one foot or three tenths of a meter, while the smaller divisions are every two inches or five centimeters. Finally, the forecast portion of the chart is toward the far right. The green dashed line represents the most probable six month forecast or the best estimate of future conditions based on current hydrologic conditions in the basin and what weather and climate assessments. The red shaded cone represents the possible range of future water levels should wetter or drier conditions occur over those same six months. The bulletin is generated near the start of each month and always available on our website. For the Corps of Engineers, I'm Keith Kompaltowicz and I hope you enjoyed this edition of On the Level. Be sure to check out our website and like us on social media for more Great Lakes information.